Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology forecast or message for the week between the 18th and the 25th of January 2020. I'm sorry for not having a video last week. I think for the six years I'm doing these videos I've missed around only two weeks and this week was one of them. As you know if you've been following my videos, I'm kind of moving around at the moment, I'm still looking for a house. This is going to be a special video in which I'm going to update you regarding personal things in my life as well. But first let's talk about the sky, let's talk about celestial transits and what's happening and the energy that is here for us all. So first of all to all my viewers in the United States I want to say that I'm coming in April, I'm doing a tour of the Southwest, also people in Amsterdam I'm coming over in April, first week of April I'm going to be in Amsterdam. And then three weeks I'm going to be in California, Orange County, LA, and Tucson, Arizona, Phoenix, and uh, Utah, and Nevada, Las Vegas. So if you're up there and you want to have a reading with me, this is an opportunity to meet with me in person. And you can contact me and schedule as soon as possible because my time is limited. Anyway, if there is a time through this year that breaking habits breaking patterns and changing and evolving is needed it's now we are at the brink of the new Chinese year beginning this week with the new lunar cycle this is a lunar cycle that can say a lot about the changes that's going to happen that are going to happen in the next year because it begins the Chinese lunar year and this is going to be a turbulent hacksaw uh, not such a quiet easy year you know this is a new moon in Aquarius and it squares Uranus the ruler of Aquarius this is going to be a month and a year of abrupt changes that are going to surprise us that are going to awaken us that are going to cause a higher awareness and a better more advanced society civilization nevertheless it is also about separation it is also about regrouping it is about separation from the old and regrouping at the new it's about finding your clan members and this is the year of the metal rat and according to the Chinese, it should bring laughter and humor and communality and a better spirit of clansmanship and, and, and uh, togetherness and union. And hopefully we won't need to go down to the sewers to live for the rest of our lives. <laughs> That's just me adding it. Um, and yeah, we need those traits. We need those traits. So I do hope the Chinese are exact when they are talking about that. And remember, at these times, there is no stability. Don't be looking for stability. Look for an upgrade. Right now, stepping out of the known is your best chance of getting what you want. Right now, stepping out of the comfort zone of the known is your best chance of getting what you want. We are heading into a time next week that is more romantic. It dissolves the barriers between human beings and it can make us all more naive and childlike. And we should be careful not to be too that, too naive, too childlike, not to see things with a purple lens or people with a purple lens. Nevertheless, this is a time for romance. This is a time for compassion. This is a time for togetherness. This is a time not to think, uh, but feel. As Venus and Neptune are going to be conjunct in Pisces at the 27th next year, uh, next week. And at the same time, Mars is going to square Neptune in Pisces. And this is a time that can bring a low energy. This is a time that can bring a kind of feeling that we're not really in charge and in control of what is happening in our lives. 
and that we could have done better, we could have been more powerful, don't give in to these feelings. Don't. If you have any shame or guilt, try to analyze what it is you could do better next time and work to better yourself. Don't flog yourself at these times. Be full of kindness and love towards yourself and others. And now I want to come to a personal part. I want to explain why I didn't have a video last week and what's going to happen in the future. Well, if you are a viewer for a long time, you know, you can see that I've been becoming a little bit more feminine. In February this year, I came out as trans to my mother and my wife. Their reaction was not... A, a, it was harsher than I anticipated. I anticipated that my wife wouldn't like it, but she ended up falling in love with a mutual friend, another man, and we separated pretty quickly, and now I'm divorced. And my mother, who's a hippie, who brought me up under Martin Luther King's doctrine, Never judge a person by his outside, only by his character. That was Martin Luther King's dream. Unfortunately, could not accept that I want to go and through transition. Um, currently, she disconnected with from me. She wrote me a WhatsApp message that she doesn't want to be in contact. Um, I moved out of the house about two weeks ago. Unfortunately, the apartment that I was supposed to be in um, did not work. And right now I'm moving between friends and family. That's why it was so hard for me to make a video last week with all of this happening. But I've decided, I was really thinking of maybe ending these videos for a while. But I have decided that I'm going to continue with them. That means that every week you're going to see me a little bit more feminine, hopefully. I hope you don't judge me. I want to share with you that a lot of people have moved out of my life, a lot of friends, uh, a lot of support. I was always very afraid that if I'll come out of, as trans, people would not like me, would not love me that I'm not good enough as I am, that I have to be more manly. And that was installed within me by a long line of dear close people that always wanted my best and always told me that I should be more masculine. First one was my father that taught me that I should never cry or behave like a girl. And the last people in this list were my mother and my wife. From now on, no longer. <laughs> So you are going to see this transition in process over the next few years. Uh, I already have a name. It's Nia, N-I-A. Hope you like it. And I don't have a clue how as an astrologer I'm going to finance this. So I've decided that for the first time I'm going to ask people from don for donations. I'm going to open up a a page, you know, that could, you know, like Indiegogo or uh, something that can raise money. And I'm going to ask actually for your and everybody's little donation to help me along my way into achieving this lifelong dream of mine. You know, I felt so um, fraud. I felt like a fraud telling you to live your truth every week and being afraid to live mine. So here it is, you know, and I love you, and I hope you still love me. May we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.